Travis Kelsey, reflecting on his college days, candidly admits to living a degenerate lifestyle in a rundown Cincinnati house shared with brother Jason and former roommates. Described as absolute pigs by the homeowner, their living conditions included a towering pile of pizza boxes and even marijuana smoking indoors as revealed in a recent tell-all interview. Despite the less-than-glamorous anecdotes, Travis embraces the memories, acknowledging that such experiences are quintessential to the college experience. Travis and brother Jason's former roommates at Cincinnati University recently told all about their gross living conditions in a tell-all interview with The Athletic, opening up on their days of partying, eating junk food, and playing video games before their rise to fame. Homeowner Greg Davis, whose son Evan was one of the Kelsey brothers' roommates, added, those guys were absolute pigs. They had a giant outdoor garbage can sitting in the middle of the common living area and it was stacked two feet out of the top of the can with pizza boxes. On the latest episode of their New Heights podcast, Travis and Jason reminisced about their college days in Cincinnati and conceded that the story in question painted a pretty good picture of their lifestyle at the time. Jason joked, they really made us out like degenerates, but yeah. Travis then replied, what college football player isn't? If you're not, you're doing college wrong. One anecdote from the story involves Travis lighting up a joint in the house straight after receiving an NCAA suspension for failing a marijuana drug test. One of his roommate's moms eventually caught him in the act. My mom visited one time, said Zach Kalaros. This was when Travis was suspended. She doesn't like going to the games, so she just stayed behind and cleaned the house, which is a story in and of itself. She smells something and walks downstairs in the basement and it's Trav smoking a joint. She goes, Travis, aren't you suspended for this? He goes, hey Mama Calaros, it's all right. When are we going to the game? And they walk to the game together. Travis confirmed that the story was an accurate one, having told his ex-college buddies to speak freely about their experience together in the interview. I made sure to tell them don't hold back, tell all the good stories, the Kansas City chief star insisted. And sure enough, they mentioned all the really good ones, like Zach's mom walking in on me firing up in the garage before one of the games. Absolutely hilarious. That's how I was living back then. Jason then continued, I thought it was awesome. It's cool hearing from former teammates and guys that we lived with. That house was so special. The amount of parties and fun we had, it doesn't get much better than the times we had in that house, for sure. Travis concluded, it was a filthy but so much fucking fun house, man. Endless memories. Taylor Swift flew halfway across the world from Tokyo to Las Vegas to see Travis Kelsey play in Slash win the Super Bowl and then hopped on a plane and booked it to Australia to continue her era's tour. And now that Travis is in his off-season, fans have been anticipating him joining Taylor on tour, especially since his dad Ed Kelsey just straight up told everyone, we spoke after the Super Bowl and I asked him, are you going to take off for Sydney? And he seemed keen. He said he'd really like to see Sydney and Singapore, but he wasn't sure because he has commitments. Obviously, only Travis and Taylor know their plans, but the footballer is currently still in Las Vegas as of yesterday according to multiple outlets including Page Six and People, both of which noted that the Chiefs' tight end played golf at the Win Las Vegas on Tuesday, February 20th. In fact, a photo of Travis on the course was shared by Wynn's VIP relations director Jasmine Metter in case you happen to be a picks or it didn't happen kind of person. Taylor's Sydney shows kick off on February 23rd. So it's definitely possible that Travis hopped on a plane after playing golf and will make it to Australia in time for her first performance. But if not, after her 4-4 shows at Accor Stadium, she'll then be heading to Singapore to perform on March 2nd. Either way, it sounds like Travis will definitely be joining Taylor once she gets to Europe in May, since a source told people that they are making plans for the summer and are excited to travel together in Europe when Taylor takes her tour there.